Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're studying multiplying in parts, also called the partial products algorithm. And the principle is actually very simple. Let's say we have 3 times 28. So think of 28 as being in two parts, 20 plus 8, like it says here. And then we multiply those parts separately. We will multiply 3 times 20 and 3 times 8. And like you see in the picture, I have the 28, 28, 28, 3 times. Okay, so I can multiply 3 times 20 and get 60. And 3 times 8 and get 24. And lastly, of course, I have to add those, right? 60 plus 24. So then we get a total of 84. Now let's try this example. 5 times 36. Think of 36 as being in two parts. 30 and 6, right? So we get 30 and 6. We multiply 5 times 30 and 5 times 6 separately. 5 times 30, you remember how to do that, right? Go 5 times 3 and tag a 0 there. And then 5 times 6 is 30. And then we add those to get 180. So this is easy, right? One more. You try it yourself, okay? Before I get to it. 7 times 69. And 69 is 60 plus 9. So I multiply 7 times 60 and 7 times 9, which this is 7 times 6, 42, and then the 0. And this is 63. And now adding those 20 and 60, so that's 83 and 400, 483. Now, this principle, this idea, ties in with the area rectangles. I want to show you how over here. Here's a rectangle that's divided into two parts. And if I think of the whole area, the total area, I would of course find it by multiplying the side lengths, like you have learned in third grade. I multiply 7 times this total length, 35. So let's write here the area equals 7 times 35. It would be some kind of units. You can imagine like if you want to, you can imagine 7 feet, 35 feet, or 7 centimeters and 35 centimeters. But I can now calculate it in two parts, right? I can find the area of this part first, which would be 7 times 30. This here, the area here is 210 square units, square inches, square centimeters, if you want to imagine some unit there. And then this rectangle here, this side is 7 units, and this is 5, so its area is 7 times 5, right? Area here is 35 square units. And then we add. So let me write it here. This is the same as 7 times 30 plus 7 times 5. And now, this is the area of the first rectangle, and this is the area of the second rectangle. Sorry, this must have been times. And then we get 210 plus 35, which is 245 square units. With these problems, we will do the same thing, nothing new, but I'm going to write it down in a little bit different manner. Maybe you like this way a little better. 6 times 88. So 88 is 80 plus 8. So I multiply in two parts, 6 times 80 and 6 times 8. And you don't even need to write these if you can think of them in your mind. 6 times 80 would be 480, right? And this one is 48. And I write them handily under each other because now I'm going to add. So there's 8 and then 12 and 5. Next we have... Matthew's favorite numbers. Ah, be excited. You want to try it, Matthew? 
9 times 99. Okay? First, you're going to do what? Yeah, 9 times 90. And that is? Aha, uh -huh, 810. And then 9 times 9. Right, 81. And then we just add all math Good job, 891. Easy, right? Lastly, a word problem. One science workbook costs $9. A school orders 52 of them. What is the total cost? Okay. To do this, we need to multiply, right? We need to multiply 52 times nine dollars which is nine times fifty two I'm gonna do it over here thinking of fifty two as fifty plus two so we would get nine times fifty and nine times two four hundred fifty and eighteen and then add okay so the cost is $468. Then also, how many workbooks could the school order with $500? We're going to use the previous result here. Look, it's very close to 500. And with this money, they w they get 52 workbooks. So if they want to if they were going to spend $500, they could get a few workbooks more, right? And what I'm going to do first is find the difference of these two numbers, which you can, for example, do it like this, subtracting. Okay, I would need to regroup here. And then subtract. So we get 32. In other words, if they have $32 more, how many more workbooks can they get? One of them costs nine dollars. You can tell, right? Oh, Matthew can tell. Three more workbooks, right? And so, fifty-two and three more, we get fifty-five workbooks, right? Did you follow? I hope so. And we're all done with this lesson.